to see online. Luscious Lawrence Poffo, Chris Conway, Breezy, known as The Social. You see, we're from Indiana, and we beat everybody in Indiana. We're coming to Illinois through this little group to do the exact same thing. You know, I got here earlier, I was looking around at the audience, and I was checking out all the women. And what do you think of those women? Oh, women. I thought there was a dog show somewhere near. Oh, man. She looks what, like it. What kind of man would be with a woman like that, Chris? I'll tell you what kind of man would be with one of those is a fat back swamp donkey. Oh, man. That's true. you got all kinds of people here in Illinois. I thank God every day I don't live here. You know, the social is here to make an impact. UWC Online, be ready. Eric Loy up in the crow's nest as we get ready for tag team action. The champions in there right now, Tornado Jones and Joey O'Reilly, taking on a team from Indiana called The Social. Chris Conway and Breezy there in the corner. Their manager, Mr. Poffo, giving some history lesson to the fans outside. We'll see how he fag Victor, uh, figures into this match, or factors into this match. And the bell rings. Let's see what goes on here. We've got O'Reilly in with Conway to start things off. Not familiar at all with the social. We'll see what they're able to do against the tag team champions. We know what the tag team champions are. Lots of heart and lots of aerial moves. Conway backs Joey O'Reilly into the corner. And a little... Uh, a little pose down after the break, but a clean break by Conway. These young men say they've beaten everybody in Indiana. Would have come to Illinois and do the same thing here. Well, we'll see. Go behind and a drop takedown. Just drops him down, O'Reilly. A, a smaller man in stature, but he gets Conway up and down. And... Uh, now a little chastened, maybe. Conway back in the action and locks up. Side headlock. And a couple quick elbows to the midsection. Throws him into the ropes. Down comes Charge. Down goes O'Reilly. Conway, too much for him that time. Coming off the ropes, up and over. Off the ropes again. Jumps over. Leapfrog. Oh, blocked. And oh, up and over. No, slipped over. Kick. And flipped over, swing and a miss by O'Reilly. And yeah, pretty good work by Conway that time. Took a couple of blows, but you can see the Irish starting to get up and O'Reilly a little bit, a little irritating. And he tags in Tornado Jones. We got a tornado warning here in uh, Georgetown once again. Tornado Jones steps in. And he's gonna work against the man known as Breezy. And you see a little arrow action from Breezy. UWC Online coming to you from Georgetown. You see Breezy going right to the arm ringer right away. Tornado Jones, roll forward, and a kip up, and takes it himself. Reversal. Breezy a little bit bigger, but oh, no, nope. look at that cartwheel out of it, and an arm ringer, and he gets it back into Hammerlock. Well done, well countered. Tornado Jones, now looking for a bit to escape. You can see Breezy with his legs back, so Tornado Jones can't get a hold of them. Now reaching up to the head, and a snapmare out of it, and he's got control. As Tornado Jones with a chin lock from behind. Now you can see, working that neck area, and it's not often you're going to see Tornado Jones work a hold like this. He's usually up and mobile, but he with a, a opponent not much bigger than him, worked it into a kind of a sleeper. Now, trying to reverse is Breezy, and he does. And do that hammer lock again. Now, ties up that arm at the same time on the other side. This is a, a, almost as back to a submission hold. Pretty well done. A, a version of a, an abdominal stretch and getting out of it. 
Tornado Jones working on the single leg to maybe try to turn that into a half crab. No, he's going to continue to work it straight up. That's a pretty good counter wrestling here. Trying to reach out to their manager, Mr. Apoffo, on the outside, but referee Underwood right in the way of that one. Trying to reach the ropes is Breezy, and he gets jammed into the corner for a tag to Joey O'Reilly. And they toss him into the ropes. Come up with a double team, double trip. And it up to oh, punch and a kick at the same time and that brings in Conway and O'Reilly goes after him Tornado Jones and Joey O'Reilly now really double teaming O'Reilly got him in the fireman's carry well a little squat with him as well and a second one and a Samoan drop that could be it for Breezy. We'll see. One, two, no, kick out. And a bit of a little bit of a strength show. And a snap there again by O'Reilly. Off the ropes. A kick to the face. Rolls him up. Tag back into Tornado Jones. Off the ropes. Up and double drop and a cover. One, two, no. Well, it hasn't been a whole lot of offense on the socials part. It's been a, a, a thorough workover by the tag team champions. Tag in. And a kick to the chest. Now what's going to look here? Let's flip over. And lands. They're just showing off here. And again, now cover. One, two, no. Tag into Jones. Jones coming back in now to the top rope. Pops across that elbow. Breezy hasn't been able to get away. Finally just drives him into the corner. Breezy does in desperation. Fires a left to the gut. Walks away. Trying to collect himself a little bit. With a scream comes in. Tries to splash. Ends up head first. Now Tornado Jones tries a drop kick and missed. A little bit too much that time. Now Conway in. And now look at this double drop kick. Flips him up. Releases him on the suplex. One, two, no. So we saw some double team work by the Social now tag into Conway. Haven't seen uh, the manager, Mr. Poffo, get into it yet, but he's in that corner now. And Jones gets a double chop. And Conway lands a second one. And tag back in to his partner. And Jones is far, far away from home. Spinning chop doesn't barely land. Tries it again, and then gets the chop that time. And a tag back in. You can see at home the red on the chest. And again a double chop in the corner. And the referee counting. And a big double beal out of the corner. And a cover by Conway. One, two, and no. Jones takes a lot of punishment. It's going to be tough to get him on a move like that. Conway setting up. Suplex, maybe. Well done. Snapped him right over. Sometimes it's tough with a smaller man to get him over correctly on that. But now a cover. Two and this to two. Don't know if the social has seen any matches of the tag team champions, but they do not go down easy. They've been out-muscled in almost every match they've been in, but they've retained those championships every time. Now where they set up here. Oh, drop kick. And a little schoolboy trip at the same time. Drags him out to the middle, ropes, now a cover. One, two, no. You can see them trying to put some extra pressure on the shoulders by almost doing a handstand. Move I hadn't seen before, Breezy doing that. Now draping across that second rope. 
And trying to choke the life out of Tornado Jones and Breezy breaks off. Now we see the manager, Mr. Popo, lands a forearm shot. First time he's really been a part of this match. Cover! Just the two. And now the social in control. Tornado Jones taking the punishment, trying to make his way back up. And whoa, tries to fire away. A little weak shots. And, and he pushes him into his own corner. But Jones not able to come back and make the tag. And Breezy drags him back out. The social kind of getting a little luck that time that Jones wasn't into it enough to make the tag. And now choke him in the corner with that. And now here again, Popo working him over on that second rope. Referee not being able to see. And Breezy doing a good job of distracting the referee. Mr. Underwood. Now goading O'Reilly into the ring. And again, it's Popo on the outside landing a couple of shots. A kick, tag in. Conway's gonna come in. And oh, he, referee caught him that time. And the referee's gonna give him a warning. Says he was trying to help him in, but uh, we know better. And now Breezy with the knee. Tosses him back into the corner. And a kick to the chest. Tag into Conway. Conway. Lifts him up to the top rope. And again, goads O'Reilly into it. O'Reilly's got to be a little better than that. Now with his partner up on the top rope. O'Reilly really wants to get in there. Look at this. Breezy up. And lands a shot. May have been a bit low. And now an elbow drop. Good one by Conway. And he rolls him away from the ropes for a cover. One, two, and no. Breezy thought it was done. And Popo can't believe that Jones kicked out, but we've seen Jones week to week. We know he's made his stern stuff. Now, trying to fight his way out, and he does. Pushes him into the kick. Super kick. Down goes Conway. O'Reilly trying to get his man up to make the tag. Conway gonna try to get back on his own. Tornado Jones has a shorter way to go, but Conway is mambling over there. Tag, and a tag, and here we go. Breezy against O'Reilly, swing and a miss. O'Reilly off that second rope, lands the kick. Right to the neck, forearm, 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 and it's O'Reilly all over Breezy. Up, oh, switch, in that far turnbuckle, up and over. Backflip, double backflip, and in. Breezy, what the heck was that? Comes in and meets the foot. And down goes Breezy. A double stop and Breezy golf falls like a sack of potatoes and then into Conway and well into that top turnbuckle goes Joey O'Reilly. Now Tornado Jones being whipped into him. Land that drop kick he missed before on Breezy. Forearm. Now we got him on opposite sides. Where are we going to go here? Double drop kick and splash. Conway down. Breezy hung up to dry. Going to stagger his way in. Flying Superman punch and down goes Breezy. Conway is rolled out of the ring. Look at this. Up and over and down. That should be all, folks, I would think. Now, whoa. And it's going to be O'Reilly going to the top. Conway trying to get in. Oh, he lands it. One, two, three, and well. Orthodox, maybe even obnoxious, but they're not victorious. As your champions are winners once again, Joey O'Reilly and Tornado Jones. They take care of the social. Once again, congratulations to these two guys. Give it up. All right, Joey O'Reilly. I got a couple of questions I want to ask you first. What a performance you had, not only here tonight, but last week at the Heat Is On. You were inches away from becoming United Wrestling Coalition champion in that triple threat match you almost had. Yeah, give it up for him. 
But in the end, as everybody now knows, it was Blake Reed that was able to walk away, still the champion. What does that say for you? I mean, you know, I fought my heart out last week, and I gave it everything that I had. And what Blake Reed did goes to show that he knows with me, his title is in jeopardy. Yeah. If I hit that 450 splash from the top, he knows it's over. He knows because he capitalized on it after he threw me into the post and pinned Alex Castle himself. But I got news for him. I'm coming for that belt and there's nothing that's going to stand in my way. One more time, folks, Tornado Jones, Julie O'Reilly! The Blockhead, starring Blanche and Blaine Blockhead. Don't mind. Mr. Rover takes one to the head. Hey, why did you change the channel? I thought you hated wrestling. This isn't any wrestling. This is UWC Online, now available on UPTV Channel 6. So you might as well throw your remote away because every Wednesday night at 10.30 p.m. you can relive all of your favorite moments from UWC Season 1 and 2. UWC Online on UPTV. You don't have to be a blockhead to enjoy it. You know, I came to a realization. Even though me and Conrad are best friends, I hired somebody that knows a thing or two about tag teams. Shut your mouth. So I'd like to bring this man out right now. Let me introduce you to Bradley Dupree, attorney at law. And there's Bradley Dupree making his way to the ring. I thought maybe we'd seen the last of Mr. Dupree, but evidently not. Did you miss me or what? All right, all right. All right. Cecil Cerveza. At one time, you were up here. Heck, you were the heavyweight champion at one time. You, you slipped a little. You, you're back down here. You, you made the best decision you've ever made. I am here. and what not. Well, today it's time for not a little bit of what as well. I hear people talking like they want to fight. Nobody wants to fight more than Harker Dirge. And I'm going to go find somebody who has experience with toothlessness. Because when I'm done with them, all their teeth are going to be knocked down their throat. Let's get serious. Let's wrestle. But uh, notes aren't going to help you against Harker Dirge. As Cecil Cerveza definitely knows. All right. As Harkaders takes off the regalia. And Cerveza goes after him right away. Ring that bell and Cerveza... Knows he's got to take every opportunity possible and goes for the choke right in the corner. And Dirge surprised a little bit by this. And a right to the top of the head, sends Dirge to one knee shortly. And Cerveza again with a right hand. 
to Asip. Pummels a third time into the ropes goes Harker Dirge. Dirge kind of surprised by this a little bit. And a shot to the short ribs. Another one to that kidney area in the short ribs, which is open for everyone. I don't care how muscle defined you are. And a Dirge pummeled and outside the ring and onto the floor. So it's a aggressive Cerveza taking control here. Backing everybody off a little bit. And De Dupree taking notes. And maybe taking notes and maybe he's being distracted a little bit by the outside. Walk right by Dupree. And Dirge goes head first into the ring apron. Crowd trying to get behind Dirge a little bit. Another right hand. Dirge has gotten no offense in so far in this match. Our main event of this episode of UWC Online. And Cerveza makes his way back into the ring. Dirge. Gonna climb his way back up. And whoops, swing and a miss that time. And grabs him into a sleeper hold. He's into the ropes. He's not gonna be able to keep it on. That's a sleeper that won the match it. The heat is on. Now comes off, and swing missed that time, off the ropes. Flying shoulder tackle, and down goes Cerveza, again off the ropes. Another shoulder tackle, that time Cerveza goes flying in, lines up a perfect right in between the eyes. Off the ropes, bounces back into a choke. No. Asking the crowd for help, just squeezes the head, and bang, an El bell ringer that time. And a pained Bradley Dupree takes some notes on that one. Couple of kicks to the midsection. And Cerveza in trouble in the corner. Harker Dirge, another right hand to the forehead. That could split a man open right away. Dirge, gonna, nope, gonna fly him into the far corner and drives in himself with a forearm. Bulldog, yes, drives him straight down. That could be it, Cerveza. So he says, uh-uh. Chop right on the top of the head. Double chop to the top of the head. Snap mare and down goes Cerveza off the ropes. Leg drop. And a knee drop. Cover. One, two, and no. Dirge stalks his man into the corner, brings him out, side headlock. And nope, thrown into the ring corner that time. Cerveza slides out, takes him by the legs, and he's gonna wrap him around that ring post. We'll see, and he does. Now Cerveza, again working on that knee and wraps it around that corner again. Cerveza recently has broken out a figure four as a finisher. Has a submission hold. He could be working on that knee. Trying to set it up. Now clips him from behind. And Dirge is now holding that left knee. And you can see, oh, look at this. Picks him up. Really putting a twist on that knee and ankle. It appears that the ankle may be getting the worst of it, but it's actually that knee. You can see the torque on that knee. And then again, that foot isn't supposed to bend that way. And he's staying away from the arms of Dirge, so Dirge can't reach him. Dirge had both shoulders down for a moment. He's gonna try to kick his way off and does. But Dirge may be without one peg. Now, drags him right back in again, kicks at that knee. And hamstrings him, and Dirge can't even stand on that knee right now. Right back to the knee. And look at this, Grape finds it. Really good job by Cecil Cerveza here, staying away from the, from the arms of Harker Dirge. And this could be a submission right here. One, Dirge is gonna try and fight the pain while keeping his shoulders off the mat. He's gonna try to land some short kicks to the back. And finally, Cerveza has to break the hold, but the damage is done. Dirge fires a right to the midsection. Cerveza leaving himself open, another right. Dirge kind of come off the rope. And what's this, pile driver? No, up and over. Uh, 
Dirge tries to make his way back up, but doesn't have a whole lot to stand on. And body slam. And Cerveza is taking control. Uh, Cerveza going up to the top rope. Don't see this too often from Cerveza. Trying to make his way up. And... Oh, a headbutt. And Dirge could be out. Cover. One. Two. No. Wow. Cerveza very focused in this match. And now there it is. Turns it in. And he's got it. Oh, he's really synced it into. He did this extremely well. When you can see the foot and the chin both in the crook of that knee, that's when you have the maximum pressure. And it really, he's in the middle of the ring. It could either be a submission or a pin. Dirge has to try and turn this over. He's gonna try and turn it over. And if he rolls it over, the, the pressure goes back on the on the other athlete. Trying to work his way over. Trying to, and he does it. He's got it reversed. He's got it reversed. This could be a submission the other way. That leg lock is there and now hanging onto the ropes is Cerveza. Boy, Dirge in the middle of the ring. That was the only way he was getting out of it, and he was able to do it. And Dirge still on just one peg. Cerveza loading up that fist. Nope, goes to the headlock. Up and down with a suplex. And uh, Dirge may have used his last bit of energy, but we know he's got a, a tank that a lot of other people don't have. And almost unearthly bit of reserve and Dirge sets up getting some help from the crowd trying to peg off that right lands a left another left jab another left jab just snapping it off the head and our elbow to the top of the head so ace it down and back up into the ropes comes up Dirge still having trouble standing up. Lands an elbow, not as much force as he'd like. Lands a couple other with more force. Now a suplex maybe. Up that leg. He does get it. And a cover. One, two, no. Dirge making his way up. Trying to find that well of strength, but again, that left leg has got some damage to it. Trying to go up to the top rope now, gonna land some punches to Cerveza. Bradley Dupree, nonplussed in the other corner, taking notes on what could be his next charge. Dirge, limping still, throws the man into the corner, can't really charge like he would like and meets the boot. Cerveza loading up, whoop, doesn't get it, hooked into the corner. Now back up to this side, Ooh. and a rocket ride, and a cover. One, two, three, good night. And that time things were going Cerveza's way, in a big way, but that one slip up, and Archer Dirge able to capitalize and gets the win over Cecil Cerveza. That was a tough win for Harker Dirge. An even tougher loss for Cerveza, but I am sure that Bradley Dupree, you see him outside with Cerveza, took some notes. And uh, he'll have some tips for Cerveza, an outside source. And Cerveza's done better when he's had someone to guide him a little bit. That may be the ticket. But your winner in the main event of this episode of UWC Online, Harker Durge. Come back for more UWC Online. Come out to Georgetown. Have some time with us here at the center of the UWC universe. For everybody in the back, I'm Eric Loy. We'll see you next time, UWC Online.